Alrighty, folks. So I'm here today with the uh, Massey Ferguson 4700 Global Series here that I got. And uh, I am going to do the model reveal here just momentarily. So uh, anyway, uh, I thought I would uh, do a short video here of the model review, go around it real quick, and also uh, explain a little bit about the videos to come because uh, uh, I'm going to do some what I'll call just the initial review videos of the tractor and just go over a lot of things. So I'm going to split those into different parts so we don't have one tremendously long video here. Uh, but I have had time to use the tractor some. Uh, it is muddy, as you can see on the tires. I've been feeding hay with it and loading hay. Uh, that's really all I've got to do with it so far. But uh, I did want to go ahead and uh, start giving some initial reviews here and uh, going over some things. Uh, but, uh, anyway, uh, I guess, uh, let me get this, uh, well, before I get the camera turned around, let's, uh, let me talk about what's to come here. So, uh, after I reveal the model number here and, and go over just uh, briefly, uh, why I went with this model, uh, I'm going to do, uh, a series, uh, of videos, uh, split into parts. Uh, we'll focus in on... Uh, engine powertrain uh, the build of the tractor the weight of the tractor frame stuff like that um, we'll also we'll look at the tires we'll look at features we'll look at the loader we'll look at uh, uh, different uh, places of manufacture of origin on this tractor where things were assembled uh, and we'll just we'll just kind of dive into all that stuff and I'll give my thoughts and opinions on some things but uh, anyway without further ado let me get this camera turned around and we'll go over the model number here. Alrighty, folks. So here's time for the model review. Uh, so you can already see here it's got the 931X loader on it. Uh, I will go over this loader in a little bit more detail in another video and the other model loader that was available to me at the time. Um, but as for the model of the tractor, here you go, 4707. So I don't know how many of you had already guessed that. A few of you, I think, already knew that. But uh, yes, that's the model I went with. Um, as many of you know that have researched these tractors, uh, no, there's one big difference on the 4707. Uh, and the other three models in the lineup, the 08, the 09, and the 4710, uh, aside from horsepower, and that is the uh, lack of the diesel exhaust emission system that this tractor does not have uh, because it meets the requirements uh, for not having to have it. So it does not use diesel exhaust fluid, DPF, or any of that. So uh, that's one major uh, point on this tractor to look at when you're looking at these uh, and that was something that I, I weighed and considered uh, special if you uh, followed my videos of my Ram truck that was Cummins powered and a few of the issues I had with it uh, involving the emission system so uh, as those systems go they uh, they just tend to be problematic uh, but anyway, uh, that's kind of why I opted for this one. Uh, one of the reasons, there's, there's many reasons I opted for this model, uh, besides that, but that was probably one of the top. Uh, but, uh, anyway, so, uh, there you have it, uh, 4707. So, uh, like I said, uh, there's going to be some review videos to come, uh, split into different parts on different segments of the tractor. Uh, so be looking for those. Uh, it's going to be, I don't know how many parts it's going to be just yet, but I've outlined already uh, five or six parts, I believe, uh, just to keep the video short and try to uh, hone in on Pacific areas. Uh, that way, if there's this particular area somebody wants some info on, uh, they will get it and maybe not have to watch a very long video to try to find it. Uh, but again, tractor is dirty. Uh, I would apologize for that, but I buy them to use them. So there you go. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to go over a lot of different things. Uh, and uh, I've done a lot of research on these tractors. Uh, as y'all know from previous videos and the whole tractor saga that happened a few years ago, uh, this was the model tractor that I was looking at, uh, going with. Uh, and uh, the, at the time, the only one I could actually physically touch, uh, not even purchase, was the uh, demo model or prototype model, we'll say, that was at the Sunbelt Ag Expo. Oh, back around, I don't remember, it was 2015, 16, somewhere in there. Uh, you can actually go back in my videos and find uh, a video that I did of that early prototype demo tractor. Uh, but uh, as things turned out, these didn't go into production for a little while later, so I wasn't able to, to get my hands on one at the time. It went another route. But anyway, here we are three, four years later, and uh, I do now have one. Um, so, that said, let me flip this camera over one more time and uh, discuss a few things before I get into actually doing uh, the review, Pacific Point reviews on this tractor, as I call them. Okay, so uh, there you go. Now you know the model. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, I just wanted to uh, go over it briefly uh, before I actually go in detail on things coming up here. But uh, one of the things I wanted to, to mention uh, before I cut this video uh, is why I'm doing this the way I'm doing it. Because uh, I did already do about an hour and a half worth of video on this tractor, and I'm re- redoing those videos now because there was a lot of information I was trying to cram into just a couple of videos and they were just going to be really long and I was trying to edit them into parts and I wasn't doing a very good job of uh, segmenting things and, and staying on one point. I would move to one point, come back to the point anyway. So anyway, you know how that goes. So, uh, and another thing is... I want to uh, inform people about this tractor, educate people about this tractor. I'm not trying to sell these tractors. I've got nothing to gain here. Uh, I like these tractors. Uh, like I said, those that have been on my channel for a while uh, know that I had a 5610 Massey uh, for a couple, three years a while back, and uh, he you know, had pretty good luck with it. I uh, probably should have kept that tractor, but as things turned out, I didn't. Uh, but here we are. Um, so, the reason I'm going to do the videos why I want to do them is uh, I feel like there is some misinformation out there about these tractors. That's one thing we'll touch on. But I want to, I want to point out all the major points of this tractor, and I want to go over them in detail. Uh, and from different perspectives uh, because I feel like these uh, are overlooked um, and you know this is really I feel like these are a really good uh, uh, bang for your buck kind of tractor and what all you get so um, one of the things that over the years uh, with me watching other videos and stuff is um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with uh, the name uh, Kevin Bean, but uh, he was uh, a marketing, uh, I say marketing, uh, he was a manager, uh, I forget the exact title, with uh, Gleaner Combines for Agco. And uh, sorry about the cows, but they're going to be what they're going to be. Uh, but anyway, uh, back on Kevin uh, Bean, uh, unfortunately he's no longer with us, uh, he passed on uh, few years ago uh three or four now i believe uh and uh anyway i enjoyed his videos uh as you know when i row cropped uh we had a gleaner f2 here for a few years doing that and um uh, i liked the gleaner history and uh even though i could never afford one of the newer gleaner combines uh i enjoyed watching uh his videos and interviews and things on the gleaner combines and I even got to hear him speak at the National Farm Machinery Show a few times. And 
Uh, I think the thing that I must take away is his style of presenting uh, the information on the Gleaner Combines. And what I mean by that is, is I never felt like he was exactly trying to sell you on this product by saying, you know, here's what we have and it's the absolute best. He would take a step back, I felt like, and prove to you why he felt like their combine was the best. Uh, and, and maybe it wasn't the best in every situation, but, you know, the Gleaner combines, they have advantages over others, and maybe others have advantage over it. But he'd want to show you those advantages and why it might make sense for you and why it might make sense for your operation and uh, all the things that made that combine great and unique in particular. And uh, he would not only do it from a informational standpoint, but he'd dive down into the technicals and the engineering aspects and everything that came together to make that happen. Uh, and I think that's why I like watching his videos because it feels like it's a style of, of presenting information that I want to be able to do that myself um, and, and get information like that out there. Obviously on a whole different scale here with just a small tractor, but um, I feel like there's a, a benefit to going into stuff like that than just saying, well, here's a feature, here's what it is, you know, why don't we go into it and talk about it a little bit and give some real-life scenarios and uh, different things that, that make this feature uh, unique and special and why it's something you should consider. Um, so that's why I'm redoing these videos. That's why I'm taking a step back and looking at that because... Uh, I've, I've done enough research on these and, and found enough information and stuff that I feel like I can, can do that uh, fairly well. Uh, I ain't saying I have all the information, uh, but I uh, feel like I got enough that I can fill in some gaps and holes that I've noticed that's out there on the web, per se, that in my research I couldn't find and had to dig uh, or ask questions or this, that, and the other to get. Um, so I want to try to present those things here so that other people that are out looking, shopping uh, for tractors uh, can hopefully glean some of that information from my videos. So that's the ultimate goal here. But anyway, all that said, I'll shut up uh, and uh, rest my arm here because I'm holding my phone to do this video. Um, and uh, I'll get started on these uh, review segments and... Uh, like I said, just look for those, and uh, I'll uh, try to try to get them put together the best I can for y'all. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm sitting here shaking the phone, <laughs> my hand. Uh, reviews, uh, comments, uh, anything else down below as usual. I uh, appreciate all my viewers, and uh, uh, like I said, y'all, uh, uh, helpful, constructive comments uh, is great. And uh, some of you I really enjoy communicating with and hearing feedback uh, and whatnot. So anyway, uh, there's your model review. There's an explanation of what the videos are going to line up and look like and why. And uh, here we go. I'll get started making them. Thanks for watching. See ya.